last week we looked at defining what the church is and what it isn't actually we have to be careful what words we use because the words we use say a lot about who we are and what we do but there's a particular analogy that the apostle paul famously uses to talk about the church and it's found in 1 corinthians chapter 12 it's a letter that he wrote to the church in Corinth, they refer to the gathered believers in Jesus Christ as a body. In other parts of the Bible, it tells us that actually those who believe in Jesus are the body of Jesus Christ. They are his representatives on earth, his physical presence filled with his spirit. And Paul takes that analogy even further and compares the body of Christ to the actual body. And he talks about unity but he also talks about diversity and the importance of the differences that we find in our churches so you might be tempted to think well I can't do what that person can do or I don't look like them or sound like them so I can't be part of the body I can't be part of the church or you might be looking at someone else and saying you know what they don't really fit in here. they're too different they're too unlike us and Paul said look that just doesn't work it'll be like the head saying to the feet or the eye saying to the hands I don't need you now in respect to a body then that's just ridiculous and it should be ridiculous as well for the church because in our diversity and in our unity we make up a complete whole we are all necessary we are all important and we are all indispensable so much so that if one part of the body hurts the whole body hurts I used to suffer from ulcers a lot as a child and even now I know that if I get an ulcer in my mouth that's gonna hurt pretty much for the whole week something so small can have such a negative effect on the whole of my body and likewise Paul says look if one part of the body hurts then the whole body hurts if one part of the church hurts then the whole church hurts and if any part is lacking honor then well God wants to fix that he wants to raise them up he wants to elevate them he wants to give them a special honor and we as the church should rejoice in that and that is so relevant at this time when we are reflecting on racism and the way that we have been culpable in that. And rather than questioning whether we should elevate one particular group of people, we need to realize that the black community has been rejected by our churches and sidelined, so much that they have to form their own churches. And God is actually using this time to lift them up. And rather than be annoyed at that, rather than becoming defences, we should rejoice in the fact that God is lifting them up to a place of honour. We need to celebrate our differences. We need to recognise that everyone is important and necessary and has a part to play. And we need to recognise that we are united because we are the body of Christ and we are full of his spirit to do his work in this place, in our communities and to build his kingdom.